Resilience is the word I keep returning to over and over this year as crisis after crisis comes barreling through. Coronavirus flooding, fires fueled by climate change. To help our communities recover, we must forge a resilient new normal. In April, Tyson Foods took out a full page ad in the New York Times proclaiming that the food supply chain is breaking. Sick workers and plant shutdowns halted meat production and left farmers depopulating their animals. In reality, the pandemic only lifted the veil over our fragile food system. For decades, we've been fed a harmful default, cheap meat from factory farms on which 99% of the animals we eat are confined, consuming enormous land and water resources. Without this resource-intensive industry, we could reduce farmland by 75%, an area equivalent to the US, China, EU, and Australia combined, and still feed the world. And we can't forget Animal Ag's contribution to the climate crisis. According to the Eat Landsat Commission, even if our decarbonization goals are achieved, without a shift in global dietary patterns, the world will fail to meet the Paris Agreement. In the midst of disaster, we can begin to realize how impactful swapping beans for beef and chickpeas for chicken can be, even more so than turning off the lights when we leave a room. Through this tragedy, more and more people have been embracing a more resilient default, ushering in the biggest decline in meat consumption in decades in the U.S. Centering plant-based products in our meals and on our menus can give us hope for our future, Already, dozens of institutions like the American Lung Association, Climate Nexus, and the U.S. Climate Action Network are embracing this versatile concept called default veg by matching their event and office menus with their vision for a healthier planet. Even restaurants and grocery chains are catching on. Whole Foods is simply swapping plant-based mayo into all of its prepared dishes in some regions of the U.S. Default Veg works by making plant-based meals the default menu option, while giving people the choice to opt in to meals with animal products. The strategy is easy to implement and enormously effective. Case studies have found that this simple behavioral nudge can increase the selection of the more sustainable plant-based option by over 80%. Each of us can get started right now by defaulting to plant-based options for our own meals. At defaultveg.org, you'll find over 10,000 delicious plant-forward recipes. On this site, you can also sign up to become a Default Veg ambassador. You'll be empowered with the tools and support you need to nudge your community group, office, or school toward a more sustainable, resilient default.